Hello guys, welcome. And um, as for today, we'll continue from where we start in our previous tutorial. And um, I'm kind of doing a briefing, teaching you guys what you need to know. Then the time will come well because the experts we're kind of working with, he said I should give you guys some just the beginning part. So that's why uh, some particular time is me that will be taking you guys on maybe the next four or five videos till the, the professional that is, I'm good at playing but he's higher than me like a badass. So then, so it's me that's going to just be teaching you guys because it's enlightening them. That's what this the platform is for. It's an open system where we learn with the, with the possible things near him no matter how bad you may look like you keep on practicing practicing and before you're just watching tutorials as a guide and you when you reach your place you practice on your own before you need to develop the skill so no matter whoever taught you just know that any mistake can turn out to be a perfect reality for you and before you know it maybe a mistake can end up teaching you what you don't know I find it to become perfect. So I know, but no one is perfect, but you reach a particular level. So without going too much further, just make sure you follow me. The link will be on the description. Make sure you follow and like them. The, the, the link will be on the description. Thank you guys. So as for today, last time we did, uh, we worked on accidentals. We worked on flash shafts. Okay, let's try it. It's music. I'm not teaching you guys music, but you can call it. So just more now we're doing more of maybe practical, realistic. So we're not just writing so well, but I'm going to give you guys what you need to know. So last time we talked, we talked about accidental, accidental. There is a sharps, a flag. Our laterals and our flat. So shafts. I will not talk. We talked about the keys. We have. We have K G. We have according to that as G, A B C D, E F, and G. Then we have do. The sofa. We have the do. Re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So, all these things we wrote here can be played on the keys. Like in fact, in KG, we can play this so far, the re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. The re, do, one, g, one, yeah. You should like start crossed over. So, you need to can write it, but you can also play it on the keys. but for learners, I used to advise them to, for beginners, I used to advise them to work on C because C, C doesn't have any accidentals, either sharp, flat, natural, just taking the key back to this original point. So that's why I usually encourage people to work on the C. So I hope that's what, so we are going to work on the C also because C is not complicated, it's easy to understand and it kind of, it's just easy on its own. If you get the hang of C, then we now enter maybe from one accidental to two accidental, depending on how good you are. Like the sheet I played on now had the intro sheet had only one that is a sharp. So you get depends on how good you are. You continue playing, you develop your skill before you know it, boom, you start teaching others, you use it as your own way of working. You can walk, maybe you know, in the music in the school, teach people, and earn a living out of it. So, we are mean is just to teach you guys what you know. So, if you follow our last video, you might have gotten the hang of maybe of the door if I saw that to do. But in case you didn't get it, I'm just going to show you guys just the C. Just forgot, just tell you guys the C and the door if I saw that to do. So, we're going to be cleaning. This one that we wrote here. 
we're going to clean it. Today's tutorial is just going to be on PC. 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 So PC that means we now start from C D E F G A B C. So if we are transcribing that means this C will become our do and the D will become our re. E will become our mi. F will become our fa. G will become our so A will become our la B will become our T then this one likewise just become our D1 so with this we have just run a little, a little skill on what we are going to play and if you take it down you see that this is our C this is our C Plug this keyboard, but I'll get this one to show you guys to see what I'm doing. So I tapped on this one, tapped on this key C, this one, which gave me this. So if we have to see. Okay, so we have written it down. Okay, this is a matter as time goes on, we'll have more footage, more covering of what we are doing actually, so that you guys you can easily see it. But as how time as how we don't have it, we work with the one we have. I hope you guys will just understand and you get just the beginning aspect of what I'm saying. As things get more complicated. Will now be entering the so this is what I did C D E F G A B C and playing it to give us the to give us the do so with that knowledge of what playing it and how it sound we are going to now draw the the C staff and this what we call gray stave it's the gray stave that gives us where uh, the clue about how our hand base will be and see how the gray stave will be for staff and remember the staff is made up of five lines and four spaces so we are going to draw so the gray stave is just a combination of the treble, clear, treble staff and the base staff I can't say clear because it's not the sign we just got to take it to the we have a double. Mm, not sure. Okay. Mm, wow. So now we're going to do it. Okay. I'm just going to draw it. Then raise it up. So you guys understand. I didn't make manage my space enough. Well. Little space I have. But no problem. The main thing is understanding what we do. The work will look rough. No matter how rough it is, is, the main question is whether one understands the point being made. If you get the hang out of it, there's no need for you to learn it well for you to really understand. So we have our clear for that joint. We're going to draw the clairs. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this sound the this is how the stage, look, the stage looks like. So this is the stage. So now we are not going to fill it out. 
Do not have. These are stiff. We will not have. Mm, the state starts from. Mm, the state starts from G. So G A B C D E F G. Then we we'll go again, again. A B C. This is space. I will call it the middle C. I will go to D, D E F G A B C D D D E and F. Okay, so. With this, we can now easily number and get our and know where the distance is. So the middle C, which we saw, the middle key which we saw, which we saw is where, as I said, middle C. This is where well, this is this one. And this C is this C. So this C, that means this side is now the base side, while this side is now on the right hand side. This is the left, the right, the left. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one is in one that you should not use as the C. So you bear it in mind to make it work. So this thing I've actually drawn has cleared our mind. So I've already broken it down already. Um, how the keys, key C is because with this we know that our dough. The dough here, with this, we know the dough is this one. Bring me for so the dough. That's if why I do not put C one here because it's the step you are drawing it on. But if you're writing it, make sure you put the number one on it. If you go down, you put the C on this subscript. That one was a superscript. That one, this one be a subscript. So with it, you know this do re mi. If you go deeper, you start from the C here. So it's just that's all about the C. The C is just the yeah, with it. You can maybe you're composing song or like reading. Just know that the following the numbers, just the following the alphabet. You know the D. If you're playing on key C, you know D is the real reading. That's why I like C because C doesn't have any accidentals. But when you get as well, there's nothing hard there, it's just your brain actually thinking because if you get used to it, you see that your hand, your brain communicates. That's why God is wonderful. So when you now get there, you now know that it's kind of it's easy to work with. But you see, for beginners, I advise let them learn we see because it's actually it's easier to understand. Okay, so I just going to Say one more thing that I see that time today, but I'm going to learn more thing. Just you know, to say so with that, just okay, not to overcrowd people's mind. Just we have like practically learned about C, and I hope you open your mind to the stuff, the great Steve. So, in case next time we come, we will show you more. <coughs> Excuse me, we show you more. Or maybe other keys, so I also bring out the piece or key C and we'll get a good covering of it so you guys will see what we are trying to play so that it's not be as if it's a mouth, a mouth, and so we get a piece and also we get it also in sulfur. I have my sulfur book, I have my staff book. I'm going to get it in staff and sulfur to show you the relationship between both of them and show that music is an easy thing. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you. I hope my video kind of 
enlightened you more on um, the kiss here and what you may see later so thank you guys for watching and make sure you share this video like comment the key you want comment which song you want and it's we're going to fish it out and with the help of some experts we're going to talk with who we'll get you what you want because that's what we are here for getting the audiences what they really want so thank you guys for watching make sure you follow me on my social media and also follow us on our facebook page and i think that thank you guys for watching